Sweet Pound Breaker. Welcome to the Poor Podcast. I am Mike Lake, aka Salt and Pepper Beer, aka Hillsboro Slim. Yo, 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 I'm not gonna do I am CP34 at the production desk today. Steve Cash Money Bags, aka the Fitness Eddie, aka the Young Vampire. Believe all the stories they tell about your boy around the campfire. We the Poor Podcast, and we back for another <laughs> special episode. Nah. Another well, you impromptu episode. It, more bars it's, to it. It's a sp- well, you need more bars? No, you got right, more bars he's to he's it. Yeah, we did. You, did you like them? I like them. I Fresh like off the, the pair. The, the, the slim, because there's nothing slim about. That's that's where the name came <laughs> from. Yo, you got to hey, hear the stories. You got to hear the stories. You got to hear the. It's like a nickname, it? Tiny. He's super big. Yeah. True, 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 true. Yeah. That's that's um what happened with the behind the Hillsborough Slim, by the way. You know what I'm saying? This nigga here. Am I lying? You was about to lie, yes. You can tell the story, but it's about to be a lie. It ain't even started. Long story short, you know what I mean? Like I met, I I was uh, I was on the campus one time in USF. You know what I'm saying? They was like, oh, I met this one dude, and he was like, um, yeah, I don't know. He's calling, he was calling himself Hillsboro Slim. I said, oh, that sounds like some real pimp shit. So come to find out, it was this nigga. He had a whole operation <laughs> being ran out of the fucking dorm room and never even went to USF. You been to wow. USF? Did you go to I USF? No, I didn't go to USF. I won't stop there. He never been but, to USF. He had a whole operation. <laughs> but it's not about Hillsboro Slim today. It's about a very special. Yeah, guest. we brought y'all here. It's about y'all. Oh, How y'all doing? Shit. Doing alright. Doing alright. Feeling great. Y'all looking great. I'm feeling great. Like, hey, last time I heard you, you was on the radio, brother. Oh, man. Yeah. Small, one. small, small steps. You know uh, to a saying? giant? Yo, you try to be <laughs> humble. <laughs> <laughs> he can be humble. Can that. I talk his shit? You can talk his shit. Do it okay. for him, because he ain't do it. You can't Push humble Supreme, that. Adam and Eve, 94-1. Yeah. New joint. Mm, very new. It's the new old. joint. Oh, the new fresh taste. joint. Oh, Your premium energy is dope. The new fresh joint. Be- before we super get into that, we can pick back up. I would like y'all both to introduce yourself. Yeah, please introduce yourself. This might be the first time people have met... I don't want to say your name. I'm gonna let you introduce yourself. People have seen you before, but go ahead, y'all, y'all get into it. All right, what's going on, y'all? First and foremost, thank you everybody that's watching the show right now. Make sure you like and subscribe. It's your favorite mask assassin, Mr. Pusha Prem, and mm-hmm. I got my brother to my right of me. Um, Jay Brown, you know what I'm saying? If you listen to this right now, if you hear my voice, like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon too, nigga. I know how you That's work. not the intro I thought you were going to The <laughs> big <laughs> alien <laughs> motherfucking no, bully, no, no, no. Jay Brown. We're going to 100% take that. Brown, yes. Chosen one, Jay Barry, a bully, mm-hmm. the mercenary, nigga. All that, nigga. Ah, That's what's up? up? I'm in here. Also, I like, like building and subscribe and, and hit the bell, vibe. please. I like it. Let's go. Yeah. I like that. We should do a sound clip. He's building up a vibe. I like that. Be you. And who's knocking at the door? Who's that peeking in? CP34. Well, he's so happy he got the yeah. box song for once in his yeah. life. Yeah. Shut up. Hey, no, he's hey, not he that. Gonna, shut up. He's like, you heard his voice. He going to go around telling people I had a feature with Prince. <laughs> he, he made it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing going to so be the same. So I just want to point out that neither one, one of you, neither one of you got comments on y'all. He's going to shake a little bit. CP. What do you do to shoulder again? Yeah, when he's going to shoot a little bit. That nigga got a little bit. Your, your voice did get mad, like, like, like. oh, thank you, you yeah, like me. Yeah, he definitely got his first pre feature. That's wild. Wow. Oh, my God. pre feature hard to come by, bro. Nigga be stingy, bro. Like, yeah. I had actually called Prem, like, you 17 have a times. Me. I had called Prem, like, <laughs> 17 told, times. I called we, you. We don't want to hear your like, facts, Prem. We want to hear the live. story, it was like an Instagram. Oh, I, I called story. a nigga on Instagram. It was crazy. I called Prem 17 times. You can't even call me on Instagram. I believe this. I called him 17 times, and the nigga was like, nah, bro, I'm not even really doing features for niggas named Jay right now. That's crazy. Wow. He was in his nonsense. Nah, nah, not Brown or Z. Yeah, none of that. None of none, that. No nigga, nigga named Jay is a rap. Yeah. Nigga really said, bro, like, I'm not really feeling you, bro. Like, I don't know. Come back with some hot. See, shit. in my story. What happened in your story, bro? <laughs> I like Jay's story, story. I was leaving the lunch line, mm. minding my own business. What you was ordering, by the way? You like the lunch line we just had? had the pizza is What's your lunch number? Say it right now, nigga. Yeah. You don't know it? I do. Say it. 78243. Capper. That's an area code. This is zip code. Scammers, scammers. Just, so, so yeah, so when does nigga go to school? Rikers? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, oh. Think about his prison number. That was your prison <laughs> number. <laughs> because I really, because I really, because I really want to get in. I really want to get into both of you. Pause no homo. But I would like to. Yo. But I, Yo. but I need to know like. You got a shot team, man. I just, I just, I kind of want to know how it started, and I want to know how you two met eventually. So I'm assuming is this kind of where you guys first met? 
At the no, time? No, 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 no. The um the lunch room story is when he was the barrier bullet. He knew who I was and he just knocked my tray over. Yo, this oh, oh he bullied you. Like I tried to grab my milk, he kicked me just like, yo, you have that feature by the end of the day, and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just didn't find yourself the look up. Yeah, but the, the thing is, like, he didn't like replace my milk. I was like, man, I'm hungry. That you had to get oh, your yeah. own milk again. <laughs> that's um, that's very unfortunate. You look, you look, you look pre hungry. It was the last strawberry. Wait, what story do we believe, Steve? Yo, um, go ahead, go ahead. Because because both stories was extravagant. I'm feeling both. <laughs> I let you be the tiebreaker. I don't know who to pick. I'm, I'm on lunch a, lunch story or or uh, IG nineteen calls. Y'all gonna, tra- y'all gonna trust? Y'all gonna I believe the IG nineteen a, calls. Yeah, thank you. You, you can't trust a nigga with a mask on. IG. You you can. <laughs> the, the reason I believe it because he has believable eyebrows. I have never seen your eyebrows. I don't even know you have eyebrows. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> the I nigga from fucking Billy Nevo, whatever the hell is that played on Raptors became a bum. He don't got eyebrows either. Than him. But I don't know. But, he, but he's not. But he's not. <laughs> Jay, he's not Jay Brown. Facts. And Brown don't it's, it's, it don't, so, it's not true for Brown. So if we going with that story, why would <laughs> Jay Brown? <laughs> Word to Ron. Word to Ron. Word to Ron. If we going with the with the Jay story, why why did you not do features for niggas named Jay? Like what happened? That's super Who hurt you? incorrect. Damn, nigga, call me. Oh, off. you still sticking to that? Oh, that, national, that is a lot. National podcast, fucking broadcast. That's nigga crazy. Tell them I'm That's super crazy. I thought we was brothers in this struggle to bless to be humble. Definitely are. Definitely. Mm, but like that. that was actually you're dope. the brother that, that like dope. didn't tell me that. You know, Sojourner Truth was like about to be out, and Harriet <laughs> Tubman. You like, you didn't tell me the night before, so I woke up like, ain't no way, bro. Hey man, ain't no way. Ain't no Everyone way. gone. Mm. I'm still in there. Damn, <laughs> ain't no cotton. <laughs> ain't, ain't no cotton picking way. Ain't no cotton picking way. <laughs> Yo, hey man, hold on. This nigga free. Nah, all right, look, but all right, real talk though. Right, woke up. I would like to hear, like, really, like, how did you two link yeah, up? Yeah, we fucking. Because I, I do well, got some real. I, I heard, I heard about Jay Brown. I was a fan of Jay Brown for a little minute. Secretly, um, he had dropped this this project, the One Nine Hundred project. One Eight Hundred. Mm. One Eight Hundred. I apologize. He said One Nine Hundred on Grand. You fucking up another phone call, Preem. Yeah, yeah, where, where? I didn't care, but my dad called me. He's like, man, I fuck with Preem. Tell that nigga One Eight Hundred. I said, Dad. One Eight Hundred. Not telling him that. <laughs> and then, then you had yeah, yeah, because well, it happened I'm, again. I'm, 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 I'm like, hey man, tell this nigga that, or tell him to do this. I'm like, I'm never doing that. Yeah. In the text, you'd be like, for sure. Yeah, well, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> never saying that. Pre- See, now you gotta send that clip. Pre- to that shit four more times. I'm like, all right, let's go. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yo, because well, hey, my dad said that I had to come down here and get my chain. <laughs> Oh, where I be, oh, where I my dad said I come back and get my feature. <laughs> my hey, dad man, said that's it, my I, granddad chain. You know, pops be tripping. So you met him off one eight hundred. So. No, I heard the project and I was like, damn, this is like super impressive. It had that hungry rap that I haven't heard of in a while. Then I saw his music video. Mm-hmm. So the music video that he had was like, he had people like choreographing in the background. He was rapping. It, it, it gave me that like um that Kendrick Humble kind of vibe. So I'm okay. like, this nigga's nice. And then I saw him at the basketball court, but I don't know if he knew who I was, but I couldn't think I knew who, who you I was, was at the yeah. time. Right, right, right. Who he was, nigga. You pushed so you, dream, nigga. So you had to figure be a fan. Adam and Eve on Wild 94 right now. <laughs> <laughs> So, so that was your that's your first recollection of y'all running into it running in, into it. Yeah, no, um uh I shot him out on Twitter. Wait till I tell my Then story. I told him it's like, yo, bro, like keep doing your thing. Like I, I love everything. Was it that you after you seen him on the court or before? Before. Okay, so before. all right, so all right, so you already knew where he was right off the rip because you've seen him and then you've seen But him that was the first time I seen him in person. In, you're right, right. Yeah. Did he look like him in person? He looked like his Avi? <laughs> nah, 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 nigga, think bro. about it. Nah, he didn't. He didn't look like his Abby? I thought he'd be a lot taller. Oh, like, oh, oh, damn, you had a tall Abby, bro? Tell me when it's my turn. Tell okay. me when it goes. You had a tall okay. Abby? So That's I'm, crazy. I'm, I'm going to bring it right back. Uh, Jay, if you can kind of pick up where you first remember running into Preem. Bro. Start at the tall if, if Abby. It's, if it's not at the court, that's fine. I just, I just, I'm just trying to figure Piece it, it together. Yeah. So Preem didn't know who the fuck I was because I didn't have clout. From your recollection, you feel that way. Not even recollection. I'm being real. Okay. Preem don't even notice. I never told him this story. But okay. Oh, we get first it. show we get I had I Preem in real life was in 2017. I didn't even go by Jay Brown. I used to be on some gimmick shit. My name was Jay Assassin. Whatever. That's kind of hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever. It's gimmicky. Like, it's cool as an alter ego, but as a main name, that's why I switched to Jay Brown. You yeah. gotta be more yourself. Yeah. You and then you use the other one. I had a gimmicks. show with my boy, well, he oh, be trite. So, redacted, right? And it was at Crowbar, and he was performing with Yism. Shout out Yism, the Rage God. Word. Mm-hmm. Preem was there. This one, Preem first had the mask. He had the Star Studded joint, the R. Kelly boot joint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Sonic Spikes. You ever see an R. Kelly at the DC Awards with the Sonic Spikes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Preem had the Yism mask on. First oh, time my the God. R. Kelly Around boot 2019, joint. 2019, I dropped a project called 1 800. I had a song called Chop. Chop is the video he's referring to. Mm-hmm. You have to check that out on your own time. He Sorry. used to DM, like, he would DM me or mention me a story like, Jay Brown got one of the hottest songs out. Nigga didn't know me. We never met. We never shook hands. Nigga was showing genuine love. Your music is tough. Take notes out there, because a lot of y'all niggas be seeing niggas' music that's tough. Y'all don't share it, because you know that nigga's better than you. Mm. That's corny. Mm. Mm. Preem Ben showed me love. So the
That was my second time for him. It Did you acknowledge any of the DMs or salutes that he was giving of you on course. Twitter? Of course. Just, just repost and thank you, but it, I kept it real dry because, you know, Nigga, man, man, yo, bro, you kept that shit old D. But like, look, you toast drive. But let, let, to be oh, fair, like, to, to be fair, Preem, he didn't interrupt you when you was telling maybe oh, your yeah, fables. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah, your maybe fables your fables. Yeah. 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 This is his story. This is his story. Definitely fables. Maybe. You feel me? Uh, and of uh, Green uh, Gables I fables. You know what I'm saying? Green so Gables. just to bring you, just to bring you back, you you just finished Twitter. He was acknowledging you and all that. Was me, show me mad love as a person who was already established, who had no incentive to big me up. That's that's what he wasn't asking for a feature. He did not try to link with me. He didn't take a pic with me for the gram. Never met me. Him throwing me up on his story did nothing for him. It was all for me because he thought my music was actually That's real. Good. Take now, notes. And the, and the first time you met him was on a court where which one of you was fresh off a triple single? <laughs> nobody. I nobody didn't, had triple I didn't single. play. And they didn't play. Who had one rebound nobody was one passing. point? Who had, who had one rebound one point? You know niggas in the court be ball hogging. Preem, Preem didn't touch the ball when I came to the court. Yeah, he I, didn't I, touch I the ball. I lost the game before, but nigga was playing with fresh enough. Say you was ball hogging. I seen today. Niggas, oh, I said niggas be ball hogging. You said it's him. No, 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 no. Preem was on the Oh, the other homie. The other homie. Now, yeah, they don't pass the ball to nobody. Damn, Zay, that's how it is? Yeah. Pero Sensei, you was cooking, but you ain't passed the ball. I seen today. But you're a tough nigga, so. Don't fight me. Yeah, to clean it up. So first time y'all met, so time y'all met you know, Fred, Preem fresh off the triple zeros. No, no, I scored that game. Oh, you got, you got, all right, you got, Wait, my, my bad, you had one, you had which, a basket. Which story is it? <laughs> which, <laughs> I, had, I had fixed that yo, game. Yeah, he said that, yeah. Okay, all right, so. You don't want to air him. his recollection. Triple zeros. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, from all right, so no, I did. No, I can tell you. How, how did it happen at the court? Y'all was there. How your memory works is how my memory works when I fucking do something. Right now, yeah. So right now, you both are at the court now. Y'all both, y'all both are in the same place. I was on the sideline. Let's be clear. Okay. I feel like both of y'all about to lie. I feel like both of y'all about to lie. So I showed up late. Mm -hmm. yeah. So so far, so you right, had third this, downs. I got you. In this moment, <laughs> and we play. Hey, we ball. I know you. Because this, cause everybody left. So from this moment, yeah. mm -hmm. so from this moment, Preem, you're on the court and you're from you hating from outside the club. You can't even get in. Preem, you're you're in the. <laughs> yes. Preem. All right. So who approached you? Who who introduced who? Because you can't tell him who you are his, yet. His man X came by and um his man was cooking. I was like, yo, bro, like you're really fucking good at ball. And he's like, yeah, this guy at jail. He had taps on his face. So I was like, damn, it's probably over for you. <laughs> Hey, hold on, wait. No, 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 go ahead, Michael. I can see you. His name is X. Something like yo, that. Nigga, I don't have yo. no homeboy named X. Nigga, you capping no. like shit. So, wait, so what's his name? X, X. not my boy. You talking to some stranger. No, the, the, the <laughs> I think that, that has a, a talent space. That, that can shoot. He's a shooter. Whoever X is, hey, whoever he is, salute Caught a stream. He caught an oh, ill stream, oh. though. Wait. wait whoever? It was me, you, and who came with us? Redacted. We don't fuck yeah, with Yeah, yeah, yeah. Redacted. Redacted. All right, short no, nigga. That don't like, that use auto tune and can't rap. You suck, nigga. All right, it so, wasn't a short. It was some, it was all right, so, so, so all right, so that's who. So so this guy, the, the, that guy, he pretty much introduced you. So, now we was talking about the game, and then Jay Brown had came over. Oh, so he walked over, and then like cause I didn't even want to talk about music. And he right. thought was an ill nigga. Talk about it. Yeah, nah, nah. He was he was mad solid with his joint. You know what I mean, he was that's, solid. That's real. And I'm he, just like, ah, right, you know what I'm saying. Um, I, I didn't mention anything music wise. Though. We didn't speak, bro. We did it? <laughs> no, bro. You went home. Yeah. He no, was one of the niggas that left. You went home to your queen, nigga. You walked off the court and was like, He was like, My lady had a crib. That's not facts. I remember. On a winning streak, too. I remember that we spoke because the fucking lights went off and we were still fucking talking, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, that sidebar conversation don't count. You treated me like a like a role player, nigga. You just no like, way. Hey, yo, when the court was on the court, no we was pressing up, Zay. And when the lights went out, nigga walked off the court and was like, All right, y'all, I'm out of here. No, 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 no. Because I was like, Yo, y'all see my key? And she contested it. I was like, Yo, y'all see my key? I couldn't find my key. I'm trying to get to. Where y'all Hold on, I'm trying to get to where y'all linked up. I'm trying to get to the music. I'm trying to get to the music connection to where y'all linked up. Like I, I'm trying. Yeah, right, right. So, so I was. So I'm. When did you both acknowledge each other as far as being like lyricists or or or? I was working on. I was working on a song. Um, never thought. And I was I like, damn. Thought. Um, these drums definitely fit what he was working on. How long ago after? Was that y'all? Do you deem that y'all a first? Y'all, y'all official first meeting? Like, when do you deem the first, the Bro. first official meeting? It was in the studio. After. I think it was in the so studio. So that's when you deem yeah. that. So that basketball shit. That's okay. actually that's dope because that's for them to kind of hold yeah. on to, and that's like y'all, y'all yeah. stories and shit y'all can get through. It ain't about me and Mike right now, but similar shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I get it, yeah. and that's dope that y'all got that. I can see the real, the real chemistry. Like there. yeah, real friendship and shit. Yeah, like real friendship shit. I'm so the first time y'all officially met is in the studio. The when studio, uh, yeah. You're working on the record. You invite Jay. To, yeah. to come to the studio or you just send it to him? No, I, well, I tell, told him, I, tell him about the process we had when we was like, building the hook. Yes. That was dope. That was a dope process because um, like he had called me and he had already had like the verse 
and the hook, and I was just like, damn, I got a hook too, <laughs> bro. Because no, because normally, because normally when when I, when, I, when I send people, well, when I'm I sorry, one second, wasn't this your song? That's what I'm saying. No, I sent him the beat, and he's just like, yo, yeah, I got he just came up with can some hold shit on his quick? Just hold on, sit, pause. The nerve of you. Yes, sir. <laughs> what, yes, sir. What, hey, what he was like, I'm about, to, I'm about to drop out. Talk about it. I'm about to drop out and kill shit. Why did you come through with your own hook and... Because, bro, oh, it's big preem, bro. It's pushing preem. Nigga had a verified check. Nigga had a song. Nigga had a buzz. Okay. He came to me and sent me a song, and he said, let me know what you think about this beat. So, in my mind, I'm like, the nigga probably got a verse, and he probably like, all right, this young boy, he got some energy. So, I'm like, in case he don't have a hook, I'm gonna make a hook. So you can't prep. Okay, that's actually smart then. But what made you feel it was okay to present it to him? Nigga, I'm me. Mm. If, 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 if I tell a nigga I got a hook and he like, mm, I'm like, I guess you don't like songwriting. Like what? Like what? What's up with you? Quick question: Who hook did y'all use? They about oh, to tell you. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Right, right, so that's, that's what made me. Feel I, was, like, I was hoping you, said, yeah, you did yeah. say his. I wanted. To, I wanted to hate him no, no, a little no. bit. I was hoping he did say his. <laughs> no, that's, like, okay. That's what made me. That's what made me. That's what made me. That's what made me. Fuck with him because the thing is like um. I just needed the the battery in my back because I was stuck. The only line that I had in that whole song be, prior to him um, um, sending me the voice note was it. um was um the ramen with cheese line. That's the only thing that I had. Actually, I spoke to you about it. If you remember, and I was like, "Hey, I still eat ramen with cheese. That, that's fire." Yeah, Prem, like, can you rap the line? What line is it? Never thought I'd be up like the sun. I remember I used to eat ramen with cheese, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I still because I was actually mixing mine at the time when I heard the record. I was like, "Oh shit, this is me!" Like this nigga, <laughs> I, I, I thought you was looking at me. I was like, "Oh shit, shit Jay." Y'all go ahead, go so ahead. when um when I only have that portion of it, I remember it was like that was the only line that I had for a minute, and it was a Sunday, and we had the studio on like Tuesday, so like, I was like, all right, it's getting the crunch time, so I'm like, all right, well, um, I was like, yo, what you got, bro? And he's just like, you know, he was mad humble about it, like, yo, this is what I got so far, just tell me what you think. So I'm like, I had to, just it. in case he thought it was and trash. He was like, I was just like, oh shit. And he's like, yo, I got a verse too. Then he's in the, the verse and the voice though. I'm just like, this nigga has the whole fucking song. Uh-huh. I was like, I thought to just give him the song. And then um then like when when I heard his, that's when I was just like, it just it just took me there. You know what I'm saying? Cause everything that he spoke about was like that transitional phase to where it's like everything that goes on in the music industry before you make that transition, plus the family you know, affairs that you gotta deal with. So just like, well, I never thought like I'm gonna be at this point at this time. You know? And but, you never thought you almost gave a nigga your record. I never thought you never thought you would give a nigga your record. That's the now, uh, Jay. My yes, question sir. to you is: When he did pre- after you presented what you um your your verse and your in your hook, um, how was your pre- how did you receive what he said to you? Like, if he denied it or whatever, like, how'd you handle that? What what was your thought process? Like, damn, this nigga free. Like you said, like in that he's moment, verified, he's verified. He um he asked me to be on the shit. And he didn't accept everything I gave him, but y'all did work together to use some of it. Did you feel hit as an artist? Like, how'd you feel? Three words. Yes, sir. I got him. That's how you really. <laughs> <feel? laughs> I got him. <laughs> nigga was like, "That's perfect." I said, "It's only one or two ways. Either the thing is full of shit, or I got him." <laughs> mm-hmm. And you know, I gotta go with the positive because you can't think negative. You gotta manifest the shit. Okay. So in my mind, I'm like, he's fucking with me. And if he's faking, nigga is doing a great job of faking. So mm-hmm. fuck it. It's his song. At the end of the day, if the nigga didn't like my shit and he was pretending like he did, it's not my track. Like, if this mm-hmm. shit flop, congrats, nigga. Like, take it. Like, Where'd you write your verse? <laughs> Where'd you write your verse? Flop. Work. Mm. You was at work? Work. Oh, shit. You was on, so you was on the clock? Always at work, bro. That's where you think of shit because you're trying to get the fuck up out. That's was where you're most least, motivated. At least lunch break? <laughs> fuck no. Nigga, I'm always stealing on the practice clock. time. If you hire me, bro, no, I'm writing raps on your time. <laughs> Until I'm out of there. Know that. So 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 between the um how may I help you you writing rap ra- raps how <laughs> may I help you <laughs> he's a funny nigga bro Yo, Jesus I, I peep this nigga bro saying. he's not I, I, low. Have, I have got bars off between calls at the call center though I've done that before hey man back the in call my call center days. inspires some back shot. in my rap days that inspired my first time after the call center you but you clearly no rec- no you fuck the call center but go ahead. <laughs> but Jay, you Facts. clearly um recorded and. Right, you send it. You sent him the re- a recorded version. Right, you didn't just you didn't seem like all the. Oh, I'm sorry, you didn't seem like y'all were in uh, voice memos. Y'all voice, about it? voice memos. Voice memos. Oh, it's voice oh, okay. memos. Mm-hmm. Oh, so so you just like had the cadence and it over the beat and okay. Me and Preem, uh, we often communicate through voice memos because um, he's very busy. I'm not as busy as him, but somewhat busy nah, from my busy. universe. Yo. And we can't type the shit. And we're me and him are both ranters. Yeah, which is why I enjoy our friendship. Yeah, like he's like a big brother to me. I love the fact that we both 
go would take one point and, and make running. three bullet points on that, each point. <laughs> when, when me and him get on the phone, it's forty minutes mid. Uh, these is my people. That's you, my people is them. So we 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 chat a lot, as yeah. they say in Korea, like we chat. So it was voice memos. He would say like because like you say, he sent the hook. He said I have a hook too, and I had the same feeling as him. I said. Fuck this nigga, me. He got a hook too. Like nigga, I got a hook. Nigga, like uh -huh. it's my hook ting. Like fuck you. Yeah, he's trying uh -huh, uh -huh. to kiss your teeth immediately. For sure, because because my you always want because it's our first song. So I'm right. like, but if this nigga okay. gets buns. Okay, well, now, all right, now, all right, now. <laughs> being that we all are caught up now, you guys, yeah. you both have clearly. We we see how you guys have made up. We see you had a hook, Preem. Mm -hmm. Jay had a hook. Y'all finally link up in the studio. Did y'all create the hook together in the studio? Was yeah, it no. The, studio? the thing about that fuck with Jay is that he was like, yo. I like these elements of the hook because I'm all about whatever makes the song good. I, I like I, I don't have no ego towards the towards the record towards anything. Like I'm just you know I'm just trying to be the the gateway to make sure that you guys have like a well polished song. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So when it, and he was just like, yo, I like that that never thought. Like I like that because it, it works. And I'm like, yo, we could do the never thought. Da da one. I got what you need. Never thought. Da, 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 and then, da, da, then that's where your part came in. Yes. Almost like a style. True collabo. And, and, and a true styles. collabo. That's Cause, crazy. Because I was telling yes. I was like, yo, that way, it's like when we perform it, we could just bounce off. So what I did was, what I had for my verse, I'll cut the verse so it feels like it's a hook, a bridge, and then he goes off. Mm -hmm. Because he, cause like we was in the that's booth, fair. me and Scholar, and he just kept rapping. And Scholar's just like, you look back. Because like, if you hear like the way the beat transitions, you think it's going to stop. And but he then keep he going. just keeps yeah. going. And I think that's the exciting part about it because it reminds me of like a roller coaster. So, you know, Scott is like, you know, you can just punch it in. Just like, the but you didn't want to. He didn't want to. He didn't want to. He didn't want to. At I wouldn't, all. I wouldn't want to punch in either. How, 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 how's your, how do you feel about when, you, like, after you guys collaborated and kind of switched it up to where it worked for both of you? Jay, like, did you feel, because you just, previously say you didn't want to, you ain't want to punch in. Fuck no. You're not a boxer. Um, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, see, my whole stance on anything in life is I'm not opposed to most things. I'm not going to say anything because, you know, everyone has boundaries. But I'm not Mr. This is it. And it's the only way it can happen because I feel like that's how you keep yourself away from the, the possibilities, how you limit yourself. I have punch verses before, but most of them, I don't. My preference is to capture the essence of what I wrote. When I wrote the verse, I did not punch it. was a punch it. there, yeah. I didn't punch it. Well, Y'all well, do that in post. Well, how do you feel about breath control then? I mean, like, sometimes... Mine is immaculate. If you've been to a Jay Brown show, you'll see. I've seen a, I seen a show just recently, actually. It was, it, it, it was immaculate. I, I do Wait, my, which, I do my, one? I the, do my um, best. The, the, the video the, shit. The, the, the video one? But the, you guys were also there for the... Oh, wait. We were pot... I'm between the potting. Like, yeah. I could see... No, no, um, for Hoochin Hive. Hoochin Hive was crazy. Hoochin Hive, too, yeah. Hoochin yes, that, that, yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. that as well. I, I, I pride myself, sure. and I'm nowhere near where I want to be. Wait, so I want to keep y'all in this moment of, like, oh, sorry, when y'all... We trying to capture the... almost did it. He's just trying to capture the moment. We got him. Because we're in the studio. We're still in the studio. Yeah. Who went first? You, assuming. Preem. Did I? You did. No, me. No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, because I have the first part of the hook. I came out after I did the hook. And that's when y'all started talking about punching. Yeah. 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 No, because I just never thought. See, for me, I like punching in because it's just like. Breath control. No, not not for breath control. Because I can do it. You know, that's that's what I grew up on. But it's like. Primo it's, don't give a it's fuck. It's different. <laughs> Primo energy. do whatever's going to make the song sound best. Yeah, he does whatever, not care. Whatever, yeah. whatever the energy is. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because it's like the verse energy and the hook energy are just two different ways that I approach it. Like, I might stay back here and be like, never thought. Yeah. I might do the rap portion, I'm about, about, like right here. Like I try to like. Never thought I'd be like, like remember. Well, it's true. It's true to your cheese. style too, because on the hook, it's like I'm vibey, I'm wavy. But when I get to the bars, I'm getting these bars. Like you, you switch up your energy mm -hmm. in the actual way you speak too. Was that a clash at all? Honestly, just be, clearly y'all cool now, so it's no smoke with that. But honestly, when Jay was, <laughs> when Jay was doing what he was doing mm -hmm. with no punches, and Prem, you as you prefer to punch in for whatever reason. Was it a style class? Like, you was like, I really nah. wish this nigga would just punch? Nah, not at all. It, it, honestly, it's all up to Skylar. Whatever Skylar feels like is going to be the best because he's the one that's going to have to deal with all that. You know what I'm saying? He's the one that's going to take that verse and then Make be like, it all work. right, how do I mix this? Because it's easy for him to mix it if if like, if like we can separate in sections? the sections. Yeah. yeah, in sections. So it's for him to, to do, you know what I mean? Jay, being not a puncher, did you feel way like, like I wish this nigga would, didn't need to punch? Like, just... Personal, um, you thought you nothing had. with Prem because one the re the reason our relationship thrives is that we both are open minded mm -hmm. because we are like literally, what is the quickest way to the elevator? All we talk about on the phone is like, 
oh nah nigga if we just do this and this oh shit that really could just work. do that yeah. faster <clears throat> all about efficiency excuse me my main thing was with Skylar. shout out Skylar, the engineer y'all should book with him he was the first engineer to ever be like nah do this not aggressively but with his when experience. you're nice yeah engineers kind of let you rock it's almost like being a smart kid in class or a raw nigga on a basketball team mm. they don't really Damn, to tell you them. anything because you're nice and I'm not saying I'm fucking Don Juan, but nigga, I get busy when it comes to rapping. Yeah. Sky's the first engineer to ever be like, say it this way, do it like this, or How do, do it feel? again. Are you able to be, are you, are you coachable? Are you able to be coached? Very yeah. coachable. So you didn't feel no way when he you said know what I, said? No, I did, but this is me. This That don't sound coachable. Mm. Listen to me though. Mm. I'm listening, go ahead. So this, this is I'm a human, human being. Correct. And artists is so artists you are asked me, you asked about me two pro, a two prong question that both I can answer. You said, did I feel the way? Of course I did. I'm a human being with an ego. Okay. I'm a nigga. <laughs> Second prong, nigga, do you want to get the record done right? So, of course, when he said, I'm like, what you mean do it this way, nigga? And he like, do it again. So I did it again. And I did it how he told me. Still a person. You could be a person and still do the right thing. I think people have this fucked up concept of like, either it's, or. The, it's either or. Mm -hmm. The answer is never on either side. It's always in the middle. Mm -hmm. Trust me. And it worked out. And that's because, why they ain't got to never thought. Because those, those, um, <laughs> never thought. those stretches on. I'm sorry to cut you off. No, no, you're, you're fine. I, I'm sorry to cut you off. Only because to, to stay on uh, J spot. Please no, uh, yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm going to stay there now. If I veer off, then you could just you <laughs> All know, right, bring it back in. So, you, do you feel, um, being that you were coachable in that moment, like you you grew as an artist a little bit? Yes. You, were you always like that? Or do you feel like, damn, no. in this moment, I just grew? Like, I, I just learned something. And I was. I prefer. I, to, I prefer to be in his critiques. Uncomfortable environments because that's the only way. Because nigga, like, if I'm in a crib and my cousin's engineering me, he tell me to do it again. I'm gonna be like, you don't respect that. Listen here, peanut. Yeah, cause, cause <laughs> you just came home. Peanut. I got this one. Is that the nigga with the face tattoo that you were talking about earlier? Yeah, the light skin court. I would never bring peanut to Thailand country to no, play ball because he's like, gonna shoot that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> not happening. <laughs> He might have been there without you knowing. It sound like peanut. It sound like yeah, this is peanut. Anyway, not peanut. Salute, salute peanut. Peanut's, peanuts up top. Peanuts, peanuts up top in New York. Yeah, he never but, come into Florida. But it makes sense though because when like, he find out what the gun laws is, it's over. Oh, it's <laughs> risky. Peanut gonna be running wild out here. I'm, like, I'm glad that you coachable. In my opinion, uh, I think it's very important to be coachable in anything in life. And I'm yeah. glad that you took heed to what he said. And even though you did not want to do it, you did it. And then you got. And you never thought you had another thought. Bream. That was good. Funny. Wait, can I ask a quick time. interjectory question? Mm -hmm. I need this nigga in my life. Nigga said. Nigga said. You never thought. Do either one of y'all have like a, a producer's ear for this shit? Do y'all work on beats or do y'all do anything on that oh, side yeah. of the table? I, I say from my end, it's, it's always production first. Like, so me and Fabian, like, usually when I get a beat, I send it to him first. Even though he is a producer. Yeah. Because I'd be like, yo, um, I'm thinking about this cadence for this joint. He'd just be like, ah, you use that cadence on this one. Poppy, this cadence. I'd be like, okay, word. Thanks. Appreciate it. Because for me, it's just like, because I see the music like colors. Yeah. But then when I work on it, I work on it kind of like how CP works on the, um, the visuals like the, the visuals yeah. or the audio is just like that's me his one part right here <laughs> and you have the wave that goes like that and it's just like okay where do i like piece my gaps in you know what yeah. i'm saying that's why i went on the verse with him when he's like anything that you want in this world dun, 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 yeah. dun, in the reality check dun, dun, four, the and the fourth you can hear it in the beat you also rhyme in the cadences uh rhyming that you, you exactly. match in the musicality but, but too the thing is, i knew skylar was going to take everything mm -hmm. out he, like we called the kill switch we knew he was going to hit the kill yeah. switch so when the verse comes in it's like you know what I'm saying? When he, put, when he brings in that back energy, now you feel it. It's like, yeah. it's like a climax. You know what I'm saying? But if you get that in the beginning, it just be like, it's like getting punched in the face. Yeah, it robs you. It robs, robs you of, it robs you of the build-up. Exactly. Because yeah. the ears are still hearing it. Yeah, so then you get ear fatigue. Rather, yeah. rather, rather they know it or not. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if you hear it for too much, then it's like, you're going to miss everything that he's saying. And he puts a lot of important content in there as well, too, that some people will kind of actually deal with. You know what I'm saying? With family getting locked up, mm -hmm. um, not gang banging and putting God first. Like, mm -hmm. niggas not really talking like that right now. Yeah, they don't want to talk you about it. You know what I'm saying? I, I just wanted to ask real quick, mm -hmm. when I asked the question about the producer ear, I know you produce... For you to not have that ear, that further speaks to coachability too, because you're trusting him to bring what your voice is saying to to the sonic to the ears yes, and sir. I guess whoever doing your video to the eyes. That's that's even doper because that like me, I'm the audio guy by the way, Claude's visual. Oh shit! When okay. we talk in these yeah, audio shits, shit. I, I, I live can do in that. Both. And I can do both. Chill oh, out, bro. Okay, the and chill out, bro. Like, but I'm a, but, that's Jay Brown shit. <laughs> that's some Jay Brown shit. But what I was gonna say, <laughs> what I was gonna <laughs> say up, is, tighten up your drinks. Y'all need ice, need please. Ice. What I was going to say is me living in a sonic space like that, like I'm an audio producer, so I know trusting him in that moment is better for you, and it's dope for you to have that clever voice to be like, you know what, I wrote it this way, but let me trust what he said to get back to it, just to piggyback on your point. My thing with it is just that I am not 
so self-centered that I don't understand how the we'll world pass works. We'll pass around. We'll pass around. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. My thing is just that it's a record. Now, there are songs and then there's records. Mm-hmm. Preem obviously specializes in making records. From his track, no pun intended, record of what he produces, <laughs> he makes full scape things. If you talk to him on the phone, which obviously you have a personal relationship with me, y'all know, he's in tune with music. Mm-hmm. When he talks to a lot of people, it can sound like he's all over the place because the nigga's brain is just that operative. I live so, in that space, so I know what it is. Exactly. So me and Preem be talking three hours straight. My thing is like, bro, <laughs> yeah, right real. now I will grow, but as a young as a young dude who's making music, I'm more. I, I listen to a lot of music, but I'm more in tune with my rhymes than anything else. Mm-hmm. Mm. He been through the phase that I'm already at now, so he's progressed. That's that's why I like him so much because he reminds me of that. Oh, but yeah. The thing is, like, but I didn't have a sky look going up, so if I can bestow the same information that I kind of like get, gave them then he could do both yeah it's just the thing is like I've been recording with Skylar for damn near like since 2016 you know what I'm saying really? so there be there be times where we've had those sessions to where it's like thank you sir <laughs> but we can't fucking we can't finish because I just have like the you know mind block and then I, I punch everything in mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so I don't get the opportunity to write it because my life be so busy so I really I literally have to take the one line go in the studio you know, have my elements to make me feel some kind of way. Live it. And then the words come like mm-hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? And you can, you can, sometimes you can hear it. You can hear where it's just like, okay, Prem is like, oh, he's, he's on to something. But it's just like, how do, you, how do you just switch that cadence like mm-hmm. that? You know what I'm saying? Because it's a different moment. Yeah, like, I can tell you exactly when it happens. Because it's like, I always, it always bothers me when it comes to like, when we practice it with the band. It's like, okay, this one, I always stumbled on this particular word because yeah. I didn't, it's like, I just did it on some freestyle. It's shit. not married to the other thing. Exactly. It's another it's, moment, yeah, so you have to like, switch the gear. When you, because when you write it down, it's like you visually own that shit. But mm-hmm. then when you're in there and you like you close your eyes and so you just hear like a, a dope ass line you put together, it's just like it's spontaneous. But it fits because it's like you're hearing everything sonically, so it's like you're building the beat with the producer. That's that that's makes dope. sense. I got, do I have a question though. Back to uh, I never thought when I was creating this record. Um, did any of you? <laughs> did any honestly? Did any of you have to go back in the booth? Like made you want to rewrite your like verse? Do it, yeah. Like, oh, right, like damn, nah. this nigga snap. Competition. I'm about to go rewrite my verse and go back in. Nah, I never. I, no, y'all nah. go back and forth those, for the I court? used to have those kind of feelings like way, 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 way back in the day. But I just feel like, um, had it been like, I right, so boom. You remember when it was we was all sitting here? I think it was the last time we was here. And I showed you the verse I did with Zay. I'm just like, I killed this nigga Zay. Yeah. But now it's like the the record doesn't sound complete. It just sounds like two people rapping. Mm, so it's go. like I feel like. Rather, the, comp- the compliment of it because it's like you can have a bunch of bars, but if you're not seeing a bunch of nothing, then it means nothing. You feel me? Like to story- make a better song, that go back to yeah. what you're saying. To make oh, a better cute. song, sacrifice your like whatever it is you want to you consider sacrifice for the betterment of the song. We need a hot. We need a fucking record. I don't nice. need to kill you on a verse. I want a hot song. But nice. the thing is, like, I feel like the, 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 even the whole kill thing. I just, I just feel like when people like kill people on record stuff like that, it's just that like. It just comes down to like who wants to control the song. He already kind of yes. gave me what he wanted to do with the song when he when he showed me his hook. So I'm like, okay, if we're going in this direction, then let me talk about this because I haven't talked about this portion. Because you gotta remember, I'm still, you know, Adam and Eve. I'm still. I just did the record with um with 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 um DTG. I'm still like in my Afro vibe. I haven't mm-hmm. really talked about my street shit, but I've been talking about my street shit for years. So it's just like I just kind of like don't do it anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it feels redundant to me. But he brought that out of me. I'm just like, okay, word. People don't know this story, but now, like, you know, you told me about it. Years ago, it was like, yo, I used to do that too because I didn't have, I didn't like the seasoning packets. I used to put the, the you know, the cheese mm-hmm. on the ramen. You know what I'm facts, saying? Facts, facts. And then I also wanted to talk to those people that, that feel like, oh, you know, like, oh, this how you acting now? And I'm just like, respectfully, like, you're talking like you fell off. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, you, you're t- talking kind of crazy. So everything is like, it's kind of conversational for me. And then, Telling the story and the story in the video was just like it was meant to happen. My personal opinion overall, y'all came out with a hot ass record. Why not? Y'all both did great. Appreciate it. Appreciate the, that. The energy on that is it goes up. I remember when I sent it to you in the chat. Yeah. Y'all was just like, yo, it was like yeah. seven in the morning. I love yeah. bothering them in the morning. When that beat comes nah, out. Hey, I'm I'm we are working with you. You love bothering us in the morning, but I'll be sleeping. So it's what, that's why I'm gonna get it. I'll get it. Prem gonna it. reach out. Yeah. Prem not he gonna reach out. He's gonna he hit not, you he not shy about it. He make no bones about it. He yeah. gonna reach out. He being humble right now, but we know. This this yeah. this a little sidebar that may uh take you throw throw you everyone in here off real quick, but I do got a quick question. Jay Brown. Yes, sir. Draco Mercies. Yes, sir. Am I saying it correctly? You are saying it correctly. That's your latest album. Yes, sir. I like it. Thank you. 
It means a lot. No, no, no. We're not. We're not done here. He got to say more. I got. We, we, There's more to be like, said. Yeah. Oh Lord. We're gonna, we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about this. Oh Lord. We're gonna talk about this. <sighs> oh Lord. Where did you create majority of this of of, of this project? Were you All in the call center? <laughs> um, that was me. That was no. Me. I um. <laughs> Bro, I'm not gonna lie. My life is a little yeah. Please don't. You know what I'm saying? Please a don't. A little lie. turbulent. Okay. I move around a lot, so it was created in a bunch of different places. Mm-hmm. To be completely honest. Oh, so you didn't have like one engineer to the studio? Please, I never have one anything unless it's my shirt. I'm about to say. Nice recovery. <laughs> well, yeah, you picked up that ball. You I'm like up that. Was well, yeah, it like recovery that. though? Because she gave him anyways the look. I'm so, like that. So, <laughs> so you you created multiple. What's your favorite record on this album? If you got, do you do you have favorite never. records? You never have a favorite record. Never. We're gonna come no, right sorry. back to it. So, I'm, I'm so glad you interrupted because I'm gonna say, Prem, you do, you don't ever make a favorite record. I do. Okay. My favorite song. Yeah, and you know what? I give it to. I'm just just curious. Like, do you when you complete a project, whatever track, whatever you got, twelve records. Yeah, got I, have, 16, I, have whatever, my, I have it on my notes. I play in the car all the time. I have like favorite. Your songs. favorite. Okay, that that's what I, have I would song think. Of him too. That's what That's I would think. And we're going to get into it. Not right now, though. But you say you don't have a favorite of your own? No. Why not? Wow. Um, Some for the... Excuse my French. Some for the... No, the, we can curse. Hey, this is a family show. but family show. We can do that, show, But, hey, people... Well, yeah, if you were in my family, a family show would include cursing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that would be yeah. Or yeah. some <laughs> for the astrology hoes <laughs> out there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. a Gemini, real so fan. I'm all over curse it. Go for it. I have favorites of anything. I think that there's too much in the world to narrow down anything. I think that I like a bunch of shit that is on opposite eyes of the spectrum. Damn. So, um, niggas be like, this album came out recently. They be like, what's your favorite song? I'm be like, um, I, uh, yeah. my favorite upbeat record is this one and my favorite girl song. Well, mm-hmm. that makes sense that you're going to break it down into that. Because I guess music, music, it, it just describes what feelings sound like. And if you're not in that mood for the upbeat shit, then you, might need, you might need yeah. a lower one. Yeah. So, I, under, I understand that. Okay, well, let me. Okay, I'll go with. Well, how about this? What I'll is your with, favorite? What What is your? If I go to your iTunes right now, yeah, tell them what to go what listen you to. Clicked on. What is your most listened to song? My most listened to from song from that project from Draco. I think it's Boo Radley. Is that also the one that they should go to? Like, if if I didn't know Jay Brown, I'm like, yo, what should I go check? Is it if Boo you Radley? don't know Jay Brown, you can click on any song. Anyone, you can back click to, on back any to not song. having favorites. I I my, my, my piggyback, I said the plan. The plan is, is, is really. Are we dope. still talking from this album? Because they're Draco. asking about Draco. They're we not only talking yeah. about Draco. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We can talk about eight. Because I, I got, we can do that too. <laughs> but um, Thanks, there, there is a, there's a, there um. All right, back to hey, Draco. Don't sponsor us. <laughs> yeah, word. <laughs> but hey, oh, hey, oh, 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 uh, yes. hold on. We can definitely get a sponsorship though. If Malago want to definitely send it over to the podcast, then we'll turn it we the other way. At the okay, okay, okay. Cut the check. Wait, we'll we'll my cut boys. The check. We'll turn it the other way. <laughs> well, all right, we'll put it back. Yeah. From my guy. So, yeah. If you're so, watching, <laughs> Jay, if you had to, um, if someone's like, all right, Jay Brown, all right, cool, Draco album. Uh, what's the first song I should I should go to? I'm going to I'm I'm going to answer this my own question after you answer. Yeah. Okay, it. it's Poland. So it's just got to be completely random. There's no factors. Hit the shuffle. Or can I add a context? You do. Sure. What you want. If you're if you if you are trying to reflect on yourself and you want to hear what a nigga is thinking, go listen to find a topic. If you want to bop to something. And listen to something that might get a a, a, a a nice thing in your passenger seat to Bob. Listen to emotions. For a general sense, if you just like rap music, listen to Tucarino. So 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 to answer your question, if I didn't do all that extra talking, go to Tucarino because if you're a fan of rap music and you like rapping, go to track two. That's Tucarino. I think that you will enjoy that song no matter what demographic you're a part of. But I could be wrong. Oh, you tu- could have no taste. Tu cariño, number two. <laughs> you could have no taste. No, well, not, not according to your... Mm. I'm good to Yeah. You're still there. That's fine. Then no, that what he just said. Was, yeah. Dog, yeah. Uh, you, you threw me off because I was a bar. You could have no taste. Cool. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Um, Damn, you, you got me. You got me. That was, that was, that was nice. Oh, what they say? I have a future in media. That's why I'm here. So what is yours, Steve? That's where you now, I want to get there just yet. Uh, you're gonna be, Ooh. you're gonna be, you're gonna be, you're gonna be shocked because you have yet to name <laughs> a record. I think you undercut this record. Matter of fact, I believe you. You probably gonna say no because you say everything. But I don't know how you didn't name the this shit that was fucking fire on your fucking album. I'm gonna get there. I ain't gonna give it to you just yet. You gotta, hey, I'm gonna build that. Pause. Okay, let's do it. 
I like oh. that. Nigga, edging. We in a edging. building and we building up a vibe. <laughs> yeah! That's funny. Hey! You! A fucking you! CP, can you please tell me? Can you run back the camera 45 seconds? A fucking you! That was crazy. You, you know what the funny thing about it? All you just, niggas like, caught that. That's crazy. I just I learned what that shit was like. I didn't. Year. I didn't know niggas. Are you serious? serious? Yeah, my man told me about it's, it. Pause. It. No, <laughs> why your man? Hey, what the no. fuck were y'all talking about? Why your man told you about the, that? The reason I'm so locked in on this album because me personally, Jay. The reason the reason I'm locked in on this shit personally, right? Because um, I understand everybody want to be number one, but I personally rather be number twenty three. You know what I'm saying? I rather take over the game. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you doing, sir? What you doing? I'm gonna say two four, but you got it. I'm dev- but because that was that was kind of hot. Listen, I'm with the Zan crew. So much hotness on the flow. Hey, listen, the reason I know you caught that line because obviously that was one of the uh, Jones you had dropped. And that's, I really did lock in when you said that shit. You're a real one because that's a Royce no, bar. Listen, but when I, <laughs> I, I fuck with, we talk, that was off cam. We talked about it. But when that shit was mentioned, I was like, this nigga referenced that, but the shit was just perfectly placed. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to incorporate this shit into my regular life thinking, a way of thinking. And, um, you had a lot of slick talk on this album where I felt like you had so much slick shit that you're not going to catch when I do it. You did, though. You did. People be saying that. They be like, you hide bars because you know people don't listen. I never. But that's how I am when I, I talk I, in real I, life. I could, I could see that. I could, because honestly. You, that's because you're intelligent, brother. You had a lot of. You had a lot New of. New flows come and be patient, brother. You had a lot of Jews on this. That Kendrick. He had a lot of Jews on this. <laughs> you had a lot of Jews on Draco. Thank uh, you. Don't pre- please don't get it confused. We go and get back into you. I pause no homo. No, I no, promise, no, no. Like, I'm enjoying this. Right. Trust me, because the thing is, he's I, enjoying you getting back into him. Look, <laughs> look, <laughs> listen to this thing, bro. Listen to this thing, bro. This pod. First we talk about Edgen, then you talk Ange, about what's You know, Ashanti. Now we talking about yo, yo. And what's up? Not the watch out. <laughs> the watch I, out. I, I got. I, I, I have two statements. I have two statements. My first, I have a question. One is a question. Another is a statement. Who the fuck saying on a hook on Halo? Me. My it's, mom didn't believe that was me. My statement. I believe uh, you, you, that she was fucking phenomenal. Thank you. I'm upset that you did not name that at all. Because when you got literally out of everything you did on this album, Halo, shockingly to myself. Is one of my favorite fucking shits off this project, Draco. I don't. Thank you. You. It's underrated. What you tap? No, I, you, you too. You underrated. You don't like it. Yeah, you no, 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 listen, listen, no. I've been saying People no. don't. No, let me finish bringing this shit up first. You know, let me, let me, let me quiet. Do Go ahead. Do let your me, thing. Let me yeah. finish doing my thing first. Because it's shit, Halo, dog. Uh, Talk like, to him, Steve. Like, like, I'm just going to keep, just keep it a buck. As I was listening to it, I was just kind of, I was getting myself, I was just. I was in the shower. I'm just getting myself. I'm listening to records. But I'm listening to Jay Brown. Like, cool, trying to figure out who you are. After I met you last uh, Sunday, we Sunday, ran that. Yeah. And I'm saying, like, let me figure out. Let, let me see who this is. You know, let me get your vibes. I did listen to. Um, I'm gonna fuck the number one eight one eighteen hundred eight one three. 1800. I think it was. Yeah. Hey man, you're close enough. Okay. Closer than Prem, and right. that nigga's my brother. <laughs> right, right. Like, yeah, right. Pre- Prem in the nines. Regard- you was at least in the. Regardless of that, I, I I've heard all that, but I wanted to talk about your most recent. You know what I'm saying? And um, you did some. Some phenomenal shit on that one too over there, right. but but I don't want to because it's about this one. Mm-hmm. We can talk about that one later. But anyways, as I'm listening to it, when we got to Halo, I want to say was that the fifth fifth record? It's in? literally track five. This okay, nigga okay, listens whatever. to music, my, y'all. My, my shit, Pay my attention. Memory's not that great, but I just anyways on the fifth one. In I'm like, holy shit! It wasn't pause. It wasn't long enough. You you could have gave, gave me more. You could have you could have really gave me more. The thing is, <laughs> can <laughs> the I tell is, a can I tell an anecdote about be, that before song you, before you do? Let me finish because because. <laughs> The, the, the project I can't take anymore, bro. <laughs> Pause. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he said? You, you can't Yo, say that. My guy, I'm Jay. pausing you, nigga. You can't say that after the edging joke. You got joke. on new merch, nigga. Yo, designed by me. You can't say that after the edging joke. That's nuts, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I like, I, which I said last week. That's which crazy. I, which I said last week. Salute to DTG. I like, I like, I like compressed music today because I don't have time. Talk about it. And the fact that you. Compressed. You made a whole album, eleven songs, f- that worked for a person like me. Someone else could disagree. Cool, but Quick. for me and my lifestyle, you compressed it and it was I get 28, 28 minutes, twenty nine minutes. Cool. I get a little bit longer. Okay, cool, but it was great. I needed that. You know what I'm saying? But that record, Halo. What the fuck you did on there? I really we need to discuss that, and I we need we need to we really need to discuss that. Let's I talk about know it. Thank you, baby. Where you were. And how did you create Halo? What was your mm. mindset? Yes. And where the fuck that came from? I will be honest. Of course, if we're going to talk about names, Beyonce's Halo. Away from that shit. 
Gets the second the, the best what Halo. you did? Fuck the Nickelodeon Awards. Because I would have the best Halo if it wasn't for that. But go ahead. I, I believe <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm still voting you as over hers. Talk that fucking shit, nigga. You, you, all right, you, all right, you, are, now we gotta chill are, a little bit. Are you the Beyonce of A13? We gotta chill. Anyways, yes. Nigga, wait, what? Nigga, hey, hey, do this I, real quick. Do this real quick. Let me see. Do this. Well, uh, oh, <laughs> no, no, no. It was a look shit. off though. The look off. <laughs> 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 how, how'd you get? How'd you? How'd you do Halo? And what the fuck did you drop it in the spot you dropped it? Mm. Okay, Halo was the first song that two part I wrote question. Keep in about, about two prong, two prong, two prong. Check it out. Halo was the first song that I wrote in about five months. I was in a deep writer's block. It was when COVID first started. This is about February, March of 2020. Mm. My boy DJ So Suicide on my DJ. Uh, he sent me the beat. I told him, I because I was listening to a lot, forgive me, hip-hop purists. I was listening to a lot of Lil Uzi vs. Deluxe. And it was very spacious. The cover art was him. Mm, His head was in this. Yeah, for sure. And I was listening to a lot of stuff like that. And I told him, I said, I need a beat like that because I was drinking a lot of alcohol. I was in the house. My job was cutting hours. They had gave us a contract telling us that we were getting cut March 17th. No more job. Living in my girl's apartment wasn't even my shit. I didn't know how the fuck I was going to come up with whatever I needed to to provide for my part of the as a man. Yeah. Feel me? So and I wasn't writing no raps. It's like, all right, nigga. I mean, I, you're supposed to be a creative. You you're supposed even, to be a king. You're that's not even not your crown. You're not that's creating, your, nigga. That, it's hard to be creative. What are you that's, doing? That's Stress not space, your crown. Though. Crown. That's your. Not royal. That, that's mm-hmm. not your crown. That's Shit your. That go on your head. That's your halo. Not my halo. Nigga, I missed. Listen. I missed. Yeah, I missed that listen, grab. Listen, I, I, I almost hit the. I almost hit the rocket power. We get it, we yeah, you try to no no fingerprints. You got no fingerprints. That's my guy right there. Listen, I really did like. I'm I'm not fucking off with this shit again. I I have no problem with telling someone I dislike something. And after that, it I get those vibes. It, it will be what we're it gonna is be after besties. After it will be what it is after that. I, I truly did enjoy the album, and but specifically Halo. Again, this is one. Of, I love the fact that you don't you didn't name any of that when I asked you who would you um what who, what would you direct someone to when it comes to AJ Brown you named everything but almost to the almost to the point like I don't even know if you fuck with it like I really fuck with it I do but and you asked me so I will expound my thing is just that I think as artists we have a sick tendency to go away from the things that are closest to us because we're artists. Art sometimes can be a mask. They say, oh, you create your art because you're putting yourself out there. But in a Western civilization and capitalism, a lot of times our art is to actually do the opposite. Mm -hmm. We're putting out everything that's not us to sell. Do you think maybe this is somewhere, some subconscious way for you because you just said... um when it's close to you, you it gotta be a mask, and but your best man yeah. is Prem, who wears a mask. You think that's somewhere subconscious? I think that you hit that right on the head. I think that if you had a hammer, there wasn't any way for you to be more active. It more. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, um, for me, like Halo was just me talking about literally how I felt. I said maybe I'm too desperate for the clout around my town. Maybe I'm too low key for the sound when I'm right now. It's mm. basically me saying like. Maybe I'm not popular enough. Maybe I'm, inner demons, like I'm inner going thoughts. too hard to make it in rap music. And I was in my girl's apartment. We were literally like, we don't know if the world's going to end. We don't know if. Because that was when they were saying they was going to come around. They had a curfew on Tampa. We it was like, March 2020. We was like, nigga, are they yeah, about to come knocking on doors to make sure niggas inside? We didn't know the world was The red coats are coming. <laughs> you know what? I was going to actually. Was some, something something is something that this, this album did provide for me. And I was going to ask you. I, was, I actually I would do it on camera only because uh, it's organic now and I was going to ask you off <sighs> be honest please um, I'm sure you will did you have why is this reminiscence of um, was this reminiscence of um, um, season the Drake shit the season take over season come back come back season, come back season. did yeah. you have any of that in your mind okay not that tape but this let me tell you something because mm-hmm. alright go ahead go, no tell me why you asked it a lot of vibes, bro. A lot of vibes. And listen, I, lock, I locked into this shit. I'm not talking out my ass, Pauls. Uh, this shit really... No, we here. You don't got to press Yeah, we, we, we Fuck the audience. It's yeah. me and you. All right, well, we're fine. here. If we lock it in. If we, if we doing that, cool. Um, a lot of it is, you made two references to Hov and then let me know who your favorite rapper was. Like, not not because you said that, but I'm, I literally locked into a lot of shit on this shit. I said, like, okay, cool. I, all right. I see. I, I, I know who you fucking with. Yes, sir. And, uh, and, I, and um, you had a lot of cadences and like, like nothing's wrong with, in my opinion, nothing wrong with influences. We all need influences because all builds who we are. You know what I'm saying? You'll never, you won't be you without 
shit you went through in life and things you heard and things like there's no original anything because there's no original idea because shit has been created before it's called intertextuality kid. yes sir mm-hmm. that's literally what it's oh, called shit. That's that's, no word. i'm like that yes sir so, so so when i so when i heard it so i heard it i was like okay this shit is reminiscences of comeback season. That's not a word. I know yeah. by no, yeah. it is. That's my brother now. That's my brother now. <laughs> reminiscence it's, of. Nigga, yeah. you heard it. So, so I was like, okay, cool. There's some comeback seasons in this. When you said some shit, you said, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck it up probably because I'm right off the top. You mentioned you said I'm not gonna you said I'm not, I'm gonna be the next Drake or Hove. Okay, no I plan, plan to be the next Hova and Drizzy no and no plan, plan B. B. Yes, sir. There we go. Exactly. Mm, so I was like, okay, hard. cool. But you you mentioned and then you mentioned Hove again another time. I was like, okay, cool. I under, I, I get it. I understand where his mind at. I understand his influences. I, I fuck with it. But even if you didn't even do that, I still felt it it was great vibes. But anyway, Thank it you. just gives me more of who you were. And if you listen to words like a person like I am, I like words. Words mean things. It me let too. me know who Jay was. Mm. Or at least or so I thought through this one project. 18, 118, 1 800. 1 800, 813, that's a different person. Yes, sir. And I'm, that's some of the shit. <laughs> I'm the only one to combine it to. I'm going to two interviews out of you. So, so I'm going to do that. And time. I'll be back. Like the so, Terminator, so, nigga. So, so, so we'll focus on this one. Dun, 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 or like dun, dun, the composer. Dun, dun, dun. So, so, yeah, so I, I did feel some comeback season. I felt like, um, and, and bars. And it, like, and when you drop, again, I come back to Halo, when this nigga was singing, I was like, holy shit. I went to the features. I went to. The, I went back to a shit. I was like, "There's no feature on this shit." He had. A, he must have left somebody off. Like, who? Who's doing this? No, sir. Who's, who's doing I took. This? I took a leap of faith because why not? Mm. What they gonna say? I didn't like it. Oh, why is this not your favorite record, bro? Why is Halo not my favorite record? It's your mom's. It it's me. My, it's it me and mom's. your mom's. Because because <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a quiet person. Okay. And my parents find out a lot about me through my records. Mm. I share with my family. I give to them personally but i'm not a you know what i'm saying even if you're close to me a lot, most people close to me will say i don't know what the fuck this nigga's thinking not on some secretive shit but i have not yet mastered the skill of giving everybody all of me through words right mm-hmm. so i wouldn't say that i'm emotionally immature but i'm just growing i'm sure by the time i get that i'm 24 when i'm 34 i'll be better at telling niggas how i feel but right now my mom know me my whole life and she could tell you i don't know what the fuck this nigga what he on but when she hears my music, she's like, okay, that's what the fuck my baby thinking about. That's what he be thinking about when he come home from work. That's what he's going through. Mm. And that's beautiful that hip-hop music gave me a medium to connect with my creator. You know what I'm saying? My mom is mm. my queen. Mm. But sometimes she could ask me a question. I don't have it. Mm. Sorry. I'm not perfect. I don't have it. It's not even a spiteful thing where I'm holding. Because, you know, some niggas don't talk because they trying to be mysterious. I have no reason to be mysterious. My name is Jesse Brown. I'm from Long Island, New York, and I moved to Tampa, and I love it here. I don't, I'm not like these other niggas. These niggas be trying to hide shit to make people care about them. Mm. I'm just, I like rap music. That's all. And ain't nothing crazy. So Halo is my way to tell niggas, hey, I can't write a fucking song right now and I'm drinking alcohol. Simply. Mm. Ain't nothing else to it. I like you on alcohol. I like you on drugs and fucked up in life. You make your best music when you No, fuck. no, <laughs> no. That is not life. the fucking goal. <laughs> That is I'm, not the I'm fucking goal. Cut I'm that yeah. scene out. Because yeah. that's my brother name. And my mom no. going to be like, no, I don't that like is that. Not that. No, 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 no. Mom, I'm good. Jay, the goal is the goal the goal is black to the goal the goal is for getting there him without to that. write yes yeah. you, you write pre and pre I wrote never thought completely fine and happy so please we're good he's okay. joking he's just talking about that, that, yeah. that like song. we gotta let them know because people will watch this and be like, like that's oh my god <laughs> save him Jay my last question as far as and anyone else can drop but my last uh, question to you or regarding this album is um how do you find the topic. What the fuck is that? That's his album. Oh, shit. My hand actually hit the thing. I was, because I thought he was going to drop it. How do you find the topic? You know what I'm referencing? Yeah, I do. The 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 outro. Find the topic. It's 4 a.m. Tampa as I stare at my reflection. I I know that, yeah. Looking at every single inch of perfection. No YouTube video or social media can cure my anxiety or my fear of, listen, rejection. But Mm. my thing is, Nipsey Hussle has a famous tweet, God Bless the Dead. Damn. He said, if wow. you trying to rap and you feel like you have nothing to rap about, your life is probably not rapper worthy. So mm. just find the job. Mm. So the way I find a topic is I reflect and I say what, because they have, I have a theory that the longer you take to say something, the less true it is. Mm. The more you think about it, the more contri- you're trying to contrive something that you think yeah. is correct. 
Mm. The realest things are what you react to. They could be right or wrong See, on a scale. But it's the realest thing in the moment. By subjective, but mm-hmm. it's the realest thing. If I say something, y'all like, the fuck? Your human said, hey, the fuck? Now, if y'all hear it and y'all be like, don't say that. Don't say that. Think about what he said. And y'all like, okay. It's 50% less real. So how you find a topic is you have to think about what you are feeling. Mm-hmm. Say it. Now, I'm not saying go be a dickhead because, you know, some people are just assholes and they say, no, nah, man, I'm just real. Yeah, no, nah. no, nah, you just kind of you're just hurting people. If your intention is if you don't have ill intent, tell niggas to suck dick. Because right. niggas, if niggas are mad at you for something you did that did not come from a ill place, suck dick. Because you're not going out into the world trying to fuck up somebody else's day. If I said something on a record that somebody didn't care for, we can talk about it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I never wrote a record in and put it out <laughs> and was like, oh, I'm going to hurt this person. That's corny. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. I wouldn't like it. Is writing music therapy for you? For sure. Oh, yeah. I could t- I for could sure. For sure. Got to be. Because right now I can't afford it. And if you black or if you're any minority or if you're anybody, but especially my black brothers, if you can get it, go to therapy, my nigga. Stop trying to uh, stigmatize shit. Because you talk to your niggas all day and they don't listen to you. Go pay somebody to listen to you. Mm-hmm. Go be, settle down with a woman that will listen to you. Yeah, we got to know our Go therapy. get some friends that will listen to you. That there's nothing lame about a person listening to you. Yeah. Like, I, on a podcast. No, I fully agree that's with That's our you. life, and, bro. And, yeah. That's like... It's part of therapy. That go back to the beginning type shit. Almost like Adam and Eve. Oh, Why can't I let it go? Okay. 94 one, 94 one. <laughs> that ad lib though. That uh-huh. <laughs> it's crazy. Adam and Eve record, sir. Oh man. Yeah, let's get into that. We're gonna do this right now. <laughs> Where else will we right do now? it? That's Fendi's. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> what made you go with the title, uh, Adam and Eve, Prem? Actually. Was there a title switch with 941? Yeah. yeah. Um we want we want because when we redropped it, we called it Can't Let It Go. Just so it's more to the point of what the song is talking I about. Gotcha. Cuz it, it when we built that song, that song was built off pure emotion. We didn't have like a constructed hook. We kind of just like Vibe. I just pieced everything in just based on what I was going through. So the reason why I named it Adam and Eve is um you know, Adam and Eve are a pair. Mhm. So you know, during that particular time in my life, because I, I do a lot of reminiscing, mm-hmm. you know, like I'm catching up. So, you know, and which I, I thought to kind of realize it now. That's why it's like some people are just like, oh, we want the, you know, the, the, the chain mask frame or we want the diamond face frame. Those frames are for those albums. So anytime we talk about before I say I do, it's the frame that you get. And when I work on the next project, then you'll get the chainsaw frame. So everything has it has its place. So or not. You know, it's whatever come. you want to do. <coughs> Don't tell them. Don't tell them what they finna get. You nigga, when you go to create your album, mm-hmm. you gonna yeah. whatever you. As, as a creator, like, that's on I you. Feel like it's so, it's like, it's so out of body. I don't. I feel like I don't even have control of it anymore. You feel like what? Or, or are you so detached from the music? You feel like you just no, no. I don't think I'm detached from the music. I think my conscience is so aligned with the music and whatever the source that's feeding it is like a whole different person. It's I can weird. see that. Yeah, it's weird. It, if it's music weird. is made in a moment and he's expressing what he's feeling in that moment, once you leave the moment and you're on to the next moment, you're reminding me about the old thing. I already moved out of that state. I'm in the next. Yeah. I'm not R. Kelly uh, Mass Prem no more. Now I'm. Zip it, thank you for that yeah. callback. I moved on. It's it, like it's like I'm going back in time and I'm just like reminiscing with like my older self. Like I'm watching. I'm just like, oh shit, that time happened. machine shit. So with with the with the Adam and Eve, it's just like it's a pair, right? Okay. So but can't let it go. Like with all these going. All these things that's going on, he can't let her go, but he also can't let go the fact of being alone as well too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like a double entendre. Mm. That makes sense to me. Because you know, uh, you know, Eve was uh, eventually his, his rib, uh, or uh, main from, from, rib, but and like, his downfall. That part, <laughs> yeah, all of his our downfall. downfall. Yeah. No, that's what the song's talking about. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, as I was just saying, uh, Prem, I was wondering where you were at when you wrote, um, or your verse on Adam and Eve, like where, like your mindset. Mm-hmm. How you like? Where were you mentally? Maybe. So when, when I worked on Adam and Eve, the the concept of it was to kind of play off like if I was Adam, you know. But in real life, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I do be feeling like Adam. Not now, but at that time. So you know, Eve is like a double entendre because it's like you need Eve because you need the counterpart, but also Eve was his demise as well too mm-hmm. from the garden. So you know the, how, how the song goes, just like like I caught you in the party, like you you acting crazy in this party, and it's just like 
Is a party the apple? No, no, no. The party is like it's just like you know what I'm saying. She was dusty wanting at this party that we was at, <laughs> and I'm just like, like what the fuck? Like first of all, you didn't tell me you was gonna be here. Mm-hmm. Second of all, it's just like why are you dancing like that? And then, then, then she's just like, yo, you know what I'm saying? How, how females go when they kind of like, you know, they kind of like dance around whatever excuse they want to use. And then you guys, then you guys like link up together. You know what I'm saying? You get your smash on or whatever. Then I have to remind myself that this is not Adam and Eve. Like, you're mm-hmm. not mine. Like, I need to continue on. But why can't I let this go? Is that insecurities? Of course. It sounds like misogyny. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, of course. Misogyny and like, insecurities. Is, like, when, when, when she's not yours and you have like a certain kind of control. She's you... always yours. Yeah, at least mentally. I mean, that's what we would ment- like. To think. Yeah, that's what we like. Yeah, to that's think. what we like. That's the, never the yours. thing is like the the way you know women move. <laughs> the like w- once once she knows what she got, who she is, that's mm-hmm. why she's at the part to begin with. She's mm-hmm. going to continue moving that way, and then you're you're just a chess piece in her board. What would you deem the apple then? Well, the thing is like the app. You see, it's not Adam and Eve in the sense it's of the, the moment. Mm-hmm. It's Adam and Eve and, and being like the first two people. Like, okay, you know yeah. What I'm like you're supposed to be. Like, it's only us. It's only us. Like what are you doing? It's supposed to just be exactly. you and I. Yeah. It's like yo, you like you you fucking with the tigers now? Like what's going on mm. here? That makes sense to me. That makes like sense. You want me to leave? Fuck is you can't leave. Talk about us. <laughs> this ain't Adam and Eve. I see you, Prem. Yeah, really. now that makes sense. That Fuck is Prem. She's trying to earn her stripes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, not the stripes. Tell me, is they great and all that? Jay yeah, Brown is doing great, but Jay Brown is a little lit off the. Yeah, brown. Not, not quite Brown. Nah, nah man, nah, I'll be man. sober. Prem talking some crazy shit right now. <laughs> nah, I, I conceptually that's hard as fuck though. That nigga said they're great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you lit, bro. <laughs> you lit. So Prem, who else is on the um, who else is on the record of Adam and Eve? Shouts to Dijanay. Uh Dijanay, that was the first time she recorded in the America. Deej on uh it's the Deej. IG, I believe, or it's yep, the Deej. It's, yeah. it's the Deej. I'm so happy for her too. So I was going I was gonna shout her out because we did an interview with her, it's gonna drop too. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm super No, no, I know what y'all doing, her. but now I'm ignoring that. Super proud of her, you know. Um for someone to she she did a lot of background vocals for popular Jamaican artists and I let her tell her story. So for her to, you know, the first time recording in America I got the opportunity to be able to have her on the song, and the song doing so well is just like that's like God's plan. I have nothing to do with that. You feel what I'm saying? Like the song that I was currently pushing was my bag right featuring L.A. the Goat. Mm-hmm. So I thought that song was gonna be radio, but for them to pick up that song and the fashion that it did, shout the wild, it was like it's incredible. He's like, I sent them a video that's like send me the song. I sent them the song. They're like, is it clean? I'm like, I think. They're like, you said nigga at 122. I was like, whoa. Um, that's probably the only time I said nigga. Yeah, like, mute it. You know, <laughs> she's like, don't worry about it. I take care of it. If we're gonna we're gonna premiere at four twenty. I'm like, whoa, that's prime time. That's I was like, do I gotta pay anything? They're like, no. Thank you for this incredible song, and then you know, just make sure you have people request it. And then that was it. I was like, oh shit. I was like, amazing. wait, do I have time to make promo? She's just like, well, we're doing that four twenty. So I hit up uh, I hit up Letitia from Visionary. It's like, yo, I need promo right ASAP. Now. And I just you know I sent to everybody that I could. So you know, it was it was a dope moment. You know, it was a dope moment to see my wife like cry about it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Dope. I had a tear. I was in I was actually at a studio session. So me and Scott, I'm just like, damn, Scott, like you did that. Like I remember, we got a four hour session. We had just left. Oh, this is a crazy story. We had just left this taco spot on Del Maybe because we were ce- celebrating that we hit 100k streams. <laughs> so we left that spot to go to that spot. I called um, Dijon. She came mad late. Had a four hour session, and I was working with Indy with another song, Flexing My Exes. Mm-hmm. So I was working on Flexing My Exes with Indy, and then Dijon came, and then I was like, Yo, you ready? She, I ain't seen no pen, no pad, nothing. She's just like, Oh. I'm just gonna just get a feeling for it. I'm like, what, mm. nigga? We have two hours. Like, what are you gonna do? And she came in there. Ah, 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 I can see. So yeah. me and Scott looking at each other. She's like, oh, she's a. I'm strong glad you. I'm glad yeah. you got. I'm glad you got her to do that. Yeah, because that wasn't. It. That wasn't. That, no, that wasn't quite. No, it. That no, one. Day. Yo, that's maybe, maybe, I don't your, know if that your I'll, soprano it, ain't quite it, bro. That, <laughs> it it should have been the other yeah, zipper. You had you had the other oh, zipper. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the other the other zipper. Oh, that's the other zipper. Yeah, it go. But yeah, yeah. now nah, and she just kind of just um fed off it because she, you know, she she, you know, at that time she was going through it as well too. So Adam and Eve is a very parallel concept. You know what I'm saying? It's not so much the first sin and the snake and all that other crazy shit, but it just you know, it's like, are you mine or are you not? But we're the only ones here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I will definitely uh, salute to you. Yeah, salute man. to uh Deech. And congratulations. Um, oh, shout out to Indy too. Another, yeah, shout yeah, out to yeah, 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 yeah. And Indy's. He, and he's doing the background vocals, the hoo hoo. Yeah. 
So if I, I thought I that was you the whole time. I'm I mean, glad it was Indy. I now, I was Indy I now well. see that it's not. I'm glad it was yeah. Indy as well. <laughs> Fuck out of here, both of y'all. I, I could have done it. I could have done it. Not like that, though. Bro. No, Jay. but you, Jay, yeah. Jay would tell you, though, because he's been to that with me. Fabian could tell you, too. It's like, if you have an idea and it sounds good, I'll let you rock. Like, yeah. I don't give a fuck about, you know, points and credit, stuff like that. If we make a good song, that's okay. Like, I don't have to have... 100% of a song is just like, like that's not where my bread and butter is. My bread and butter is going to be in everything else in life. We you all know, know you don't need 100% of a song because Jay Brown helped you with the other half. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you keep walking into these. Woo! Yeah, I mean, LeBron did need way, so here we are. Yeah, right? that, 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 exactly. My knee's still good. Um, that, um, salute to Wild, salute to um. And, and they can request it. What's the number? And we, Do you know they what they can Please, um, y'all request. 888 Damn, they got me brainwashed. Yeah, request that. What are the requests, Pre? Uh, request never thought and Adam and Eve. Preem, send them one way. Right. Send them one way, Pre. Go get the Adam and Eve. Yeah. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Let's talk about it. Okay, for my brother. Go get the Adam and Eve, man. Just what just shoot him a text, send him a call, whatever y'all got to do to hit number Text Evie. Text hey, Evie. So we're far, put the yeah. number. Hopefully, we can put the number here on the screen while we're speaking right here to be like a top, bottom, somewhere, left, right, up, down, whatever. Put yeah, your, request it. Put your left foot in. Put your left foot. Take your left foot out. Whatever. That's what it's not, all and not, about. Only for Sit for, front of the screen, for me nice per se, just for the fact that it's just like we here, like you know what I'm saying. Like I live, I live here. I'm not doing anything crazy. Like anytime you guys come to the events and stuff like that, you guys get a great experience. It's just an opportunity so that other Tampa artists don't feel like my city doesn't support me because that's false. It's just everything's gonna work on God's time. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't instant grits. You feel me? Nice. And before we before we head out, I know we're gonna discuss a little bit more, but I do I do want to say I like your shirt, brother. Oh, thank you, I man. Like it's, it's a new release that we got with uh, shout out to my man Mix. He's the one that did the the book that we had at the event. Mm-hmm. So remember, the lyric we, book. Yeah, we yeah. have the, the the lookbook. So. He, did he also the did the cover art for Never Thought. Yo, he spazzed on the cover art for Never Thought. He, he can I get can I get that. can I get one of them? Of course. The same one? Same one. No, like no I, want, one. I want the shirt off. Want I want, no, the one off your back. Take the one off your body. The one off your back, nigga. Yeah, yeah you, you never I'm, thought I'm, I would I'm, ask? I'm, you never thought? I never thought. No, no. Mike, you were saying you wanted to bring it back to, um, what was it? Well, right here is probably where we're gonna. Debut. Yeah, we're gonna. What we're gonna do right now? Uh, we actually did this at your show. We'll talk about the show. The show that you just did, uh, debuting uh, Adam and Eve. Um, Can't let you. Was that last on. Sunday? And uh, so, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna actually drop the video on this show right now. Oh, shit. Okay. It's, this this is not live, so they'll be they'll be seeing it, but we're not seeing it right it now. We already yeah. seen it and we love it. Just throw uh, to it. We'll, we'll, we'll put throw it to it right now. This is uh, no, wait, wait, <laughs> no, 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 no. Do me a favor. Why don't you set it up and you introduce yeah, your, your video? Introduce right. your video. Damn, son. Just get it. Oh, now. Gosh. We can edit so you can. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Push Supreme, and y'all about to film Adam and Eve Can't Let You Go featuring Dijanae and Indy Indigo. Make sure y'all check that out. Shout out to the Fort Podcast for filming it. Let's go. Here. Something said slow down. But you wanna be somebody when it's Friday. You be walking on the party, getting naughty. Will you running with me? Yeah, yeah, you running with me. I don't mean to offend. Yeah, this ain't that I'm in need. Why can't I let it go? Can't let it go. Can't let it show. Why can't I let it go? Why can't I let it go? Can't let it go. Can't let it show. Why can't I let it go? I don't mean no offense. I just need you to leave. Got you all in my bed. Huh. This ain't that I'm in need. Cause I've been known. No, I lose control. Somebody better come save me. Somebody better give me hope. My part. Can't front, got a nigga, but I stick with it. We ain't going nowhere. 
Hopefully everyone enjoyed that video. I know I definitely did. Salute to the three of you, which is a Prem, Deej, Indigo, um, Jay Brown. Yes, sir. Ski. How you feel about today, sir? I feel incredible. I was off of work and I did the Pora podcast. Mm. I should try it. Um, I'm very happy and I'm very proud that uh, we did our first official interview with you, sir. Are you penny proud? My option when I Oscar, y'all making pennies and proud. The empire expands, so please let me expand. Let me stop. Mm. No, no, no. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, well, keep they, 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 they didn't know. Murder, 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 Bells and Saran and Grams hitting in them black vans, gambling, scrambling. Watch us like TV, then channel us. Your wife go VB scandalous. We bike and they can't handle us. Too legit to quit. If y'all touch this, then let them hammers bust. They was chasing clout. We walked the chase. They never ran with us. Ain't they just retweet that shit last week? Y'all niggas fans of us. Just keep that shit cool. These fiends will smoke you for a gram at us. Please know your parameters. Apparent that you amateurs. You gonna change me from the cool J. Stay off that cannabis. <laughs> Yo. Not a cool J cannabis bar. That was Yo. hard. That's nah, yeah, yeah, that, that happened, that. man. Fuck with that. that Damn happened. it! I wish I caught more of that shit. I know, man. But we got it on too. We got Listen it. To Damn, you. we got all of Listen it. To the you. One thing, one thing you can't say about Tampa. There's no talent, man. Real rap lives in Tampa. Mm. Tampa rap. will win. Tampa will win. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's baby in the back. Y'all can't see him, but that's that's baby in the back. Definitely hear him. And Jay in the back as well. I definitely appreciate that freestyle, Jay. Got to. If you got any more, like we we here, uh, uh Prem, yes. if, if you if anything that you, I'm I mean, basking, the mics are here. I'm, I'm basking in the moment. I'm on I'm I'm basking Can I get the, the Never Thought verse? If you're not gonna drop nothing new, let me get the Never Thought uh, acapella. Can, can, can we just get the Never Never Thought? Come on. I mean, I, I do something other than Never Thought. Oh, uh, what you got for us? What you got? Because I, I don't want to rob you from the moment of listening to the song and and and, and enjoying it too. That yes, nigga sir. said he need them streams. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said rob y'all. He mean rob himself. <laughs> Wait, not the no. zipper. <laughs> oh, yo, are you are you serious right now? Let's go, Prem. Let's go. Let's go, Prem. All right, all right, all right, all right. Y'all, y'all got me. Poor podcast. The fucking, yo, shout out to the poor podcast. Push Prem. What is that? What yeah, what was that supposed to be? The Acapella, bro. Let's go, Prem. Let's go. Let's go, Prem. Oh, it's oh, boom. Mm, 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 mm. That's that shit. Anyway, that, you was beatboxing. That was your dream. Just go, Prem. <laughs> what, what song is that? That was Prem. Prem. They the, gonna stop right, when you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gonna stop when you go. Flick the lane. Never all right, all right. Um, all right, all right. Let me get into the to the to the scheme of things. It's it's, it's a process, y'all. It's definitely a process. Absolutely. Um, let me see. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> it's my recipe flow. Chef with curry. I'm serving the goat. I was a Billy when I was a kid. Mm. All right, hold on. Yeah, that's <laughs> good, yo. World yeah, premiere, yeah. new Push like, Supreme, yo, Pour yo, a podcast. Go, new Push so Supreme, <laughs> Pour a podcast, Pour like a podcast, Push Supreme. When he was a kid, get him. Oh man. Nah, go ahead, Jay. Go Jay, what you got, Jay? Jay you remember your verse? Hey, hey. How I'm supposed to get help when I'm uh-huh. trying to get by and everybody around me and this bitch is getting high. Uh-huh. I'll be so anxious to keep it genuine. <laughs> Issues Ooh. run deep in those jeans of mine. Mm. When life give you lemons, would you be sublime? And no job rule the world, he always on time. Cause mm. artists have it bad like 8701. Ladies push your tits up. Gents got a show guns on. Uh, the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. juice. Nah, the light of the skin, the sweet of the you. Your favorite mm. rapper can't be bothered into speaking the truth. And he's the same motherfuckers who be leading the you. Juice. Complex okay. of the starving artists, cursing, gifted like pastries and partridges. We don't rest till we lay up in the coffins and mm. depend on strangers and lay our hearts to them. Uh, okay. All my thugs, look, the beef is going ground you. Mm. Lost boys in the grave, look at where they found you. Mm. Identity crisis going in circles. Why the fuck you think they saying they can be themselves around you? Yes, sir. Mm. Woo! Yes, sir. Yo, make sure y'all fucking follow Jay yes, Brown. Yo, definitely y'all fuck fucking with Jay Brown. Jay. Yes, we definitely appreciate the freestyles. We definitely appreciate the freestyles. Um, I don't know, man. Listen, I personally feel we had a great podcast. Thank y'all I, both so before much. Before we think and get by, just real quick, we mm-hmm. had an event Sunday. We interviewed y'all. The audio got lost. That might be on me, but it ain't. Let's talk, talk about, about the it. event real quick. Throw to what y'all did, and what should we expect next? From yeah, I from... mean, um, shout out to the water cooler. We had a dope event. We had a photographer meetup, so we had people like taking pictures. 
like photography pictures with the nice white background. They yeah. tax for that room. <laughs> so the fact that photographers was able to go up there, people was able to go up there for free and enjoy that moment, it's an experience in itself. Then on top of that, we had the performance going on, and then we also had some dope ass vendors. Uh, we had some, you know, some cool little mixed drinks for you guys to kind of like get your thirst on. Mm -hmm. And then we went ahead and premiered two videos on the twenty second on a projector on the wall. So it's like, you know, we're just about just building experiences with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like Tampa is the culture hub for South Florida. And I'm saying that now, mm. if you guys don't know, you can catch up when the time comes, but it is what it is. Yeah. Somebody told me y'all had like a, this, this podcast there too. I, oh yeah. Little, I mean, podcast, not, right? not, you know, no, you know, <laughs> no, no, um, no, um, shameless plug, but we definitely had a live podcast going on at the same motherfucking time. Shout out to the pour up. And to me, you know, like, you know, everyone knows I'm a fan of the pour up. I'm here all the time. Yes, sir. You live that here. Poor was my, that, You're literally that right behind us. I, I think not we word. made. I, th I think we made history. I've never in my no life one. seen anyone. I will even boggle it down in Tampa or Florida mm -hmm. or, or Tampa even. I've never seen a live podcast be pulled at off at a live fucking show. Fact. Yeah, we hit a fucking feat that day. Not only that, my favorite part of that whole fucking podcast was people doing the electric slide in the, in the back. background. Yeah, they was getting it too. That shit was. Shout amazing. out to my mom. Shout out to my mom. We led that shit, mama. We was oh, sliding on, on their ass. We was sliding on their ass. So yes, sir. I, I was mad I missed the slide because we was working it, and I was like, "Damn, they was sliding behind." Y'all was the board, working yeah. over time, nigga. I, OT. That shit was dope. That shit was really I, we dope. We appreciated like, you having us there because it was the first of all, the event was super dope. Like you said, Water Cool Studio was cool, but but it's not brought, that I, that had you guys there. We talked about this. We were gonna yeah. do this together. You know what I'm saying? We, so it just it just it just great minds collab and we create the all star game. Prem, what videos did you premiere yeah, at Water Cool? Oh yeah, we perform. Uh, I mean, <laughs> premiere. I'm sorry, yo, the, the tequila got me. Some kind of way. The poor podcast. The, the poor, poor podcast. Yeah, the poor, yeah, they Subscribe. Got Hit Yo, the bell icon. I got my poor up. <laughs> so we went ahead and we premiered the Adam and Eve and the Never Thought video. The Never Thought video is not out now. Um, we're going to do another that live premiere. Um, we're, we're trying to, you know, work on some shit so that everyone can kind of see it. Uh, we're going to keep that shit like, you know, not secret, but when you hear about it, you're going to know about it. So mm -hmm. we went ahead and premiered two videos. The so people that was there that enjoyed the video, they was like, Run it back. Then we performed. Never mm -hmm. thought there was like encore. I'm just like, damn. They're like, no, for real. Yeah. Run it back Pre again. You got a good memory. Do you remember that time you, that you said you want to give shirts to everybody that was at that show? Mm. I did. I remember. You, you him promised yeah. the whole room with shirts. Do, 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 yeah, yeah. Do but also to everybody to make sure that where they, they at. Do. Do. I also told everybody that where make they sure at, that do. you sign up with Hidden Sound Village. Shout mm -hmm. out to them, that and then make what? sure that you DM me. You so if that was not done, then you didn't get it. It's kind of you know what I mean. Yeah, you got to unass that shirt, bro. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got to follow instructions. You know what I'm saying? Where, where can people find you, sir? Follow, follow uh, Pusha Cream, um, everywhere. You can Google it or all about Cream. Spell it, nigga. P U S H A P R E M E. I hate spelling it, but here we are today. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We can, we can kind of do it on some Will of Fortune shit, too. P. Yeah. Spell it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or even, or, or even Hangman. Yeah. Wow, we're not playing Hangman. It's practice. It's practice. It's practice <laughs> the, the, you have one of the videos is out though, right? Yes, one of the um. So the Adam and Eve video is out right now. Um, you guys just go ahead and check it out. We premiered it here in the podcast, so you got to see it. Yeah, if you want to see it. it again, you can run the podcast back, or you could just type in Adam and Eve. Can't let you go on YouTube, and it should pop right up. Um, shout out to everybody that went to. Orlando <laughs> Juve <laughs> to shoot that video, Juve. including the podcast yeah. that came out there. So yes, it was sir. a dope experience to take a bunch of individuals from Tampa and for us to go to an event on time and be able to, you know, shoot that. <laughs> he video. emphasized shout that. That's yeah, anti-black. Well, anti -black. That's anti-black. Yeah, we were definitely come anti -black on, Brian. that day. And shout out to Justin Patron for shooting as well too. In a room full of so, black people. Jay come Brown. on, pro back, clean. Jay Brown. Pre <laughs> pro Jay Brown, sir. Where yes, can sir. people find you? Jay Brown twenty one on Instagram. Jay Brown underscore on Twitter. If you know you on the bird app, that shit ain't none. <laughs> that shit ain't about none. <laughs> Jay Brown, man. Bird J A Y B R O W N E. Don't forget the motherfucking Fucking e. e. Come on, mm. come on. Because E equals MC squared. I, I thought it's that. still for excellence. We can still do it for emancipated because I ain't no slave, nigga. Mm. Mm. I like that. I like that, sir. The poor podcast. The poor podcast. Hey, um, hit, hit the subscribe button. The bell and, icon. And yes, definitely pre. Uh, Brown, you definitely. You're now. You are a. Um, you're a friend of the show. Oh, I'm a friend of the show. Of course, of course. Come on, can I get a ride? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jay, that's a feat. I'm not even a friend of the Prim, show. Yeah, we. We're we, 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 He's we only here for a short time. Anyway, I respect that. Not a long time. Short time. He's here for not a long time, but a good time. You know, I. Prem, you already know you are definitely family, sir. Yeah, man. Jay, you are now. Family, your Night family me. show, and we can't wait until um. I can wait for your though. next. I can't wait. For, I can't wait for your next uh project, both of you, and we're gonna do this again. Definitely, we definitely got to. We're gonna lock it again. Uh, Claude, what you got over there, sir? 
Uh, what do you mean? What do I got over here? I think we're done. Yeah, uh, I think yeah, we're we good. This yeah, is a special yeah, I episode. Think, I think I think this was a good episode. I, I kind of enjoy being behind the desk and not being over there because the insults are not lobbed my way, you know? So this is actually Oh, we're not nice. done yet. Yeah, yeah. We got um, more time. Wait. That's right. I, I do realize I, I forget sometimes I know y'all in real life. In the post-credits. So I'm literally going to off air, yeah. off camera, I'll get a roast. We've been a pregame and the post-credits about to be wild. I'm about to get at you. Yeah. Because you, you was going hard Thursday. I got shit to tell I you. I know. Uh, I will say this. Special episode of the Poor Podcast. Jay Brown, Push Supreme. Thank you both. Everybody in the building. Salute. Salute this whole thing. Album release, Text 94.1. I think we covered everything. That was a quick little recap. Mm. Pour ups every Thursday. I am Mike Lake in the building, a.k.a. Hillsborough Slim. Don't at me. And yo, 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 I'm knocking at <laughs> ah, yo, 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 I'm knocking at the door. I am CP34. Steve Cash Moneybags, a.k.a. The Fitness Eddie, a.k.a. The Vampire. Believe all the stories they tell about your boy running campfire. We'll be back next week. Y'all be hey, safe. Podcast, we out. Poor cat.